Hi friends, welcome to Padu's Kitchen. In today's video, we will see how to make a simple brinjal rice and onion pachadi or raita to go with it. Let's get on to the recipe. You can use any rice variety for this. I am taking basmati rice. Wash and soak basmati rice for 30 minutes, then cook with 2 cups of water. We will prepare the masala for the brinjal rice now. Heat half teaspoon of oil. I am adding 1 tablespoon of Bengal gram dal or channa dal, 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, 2 teaspoons of urad dal, half teaspoon whole black pepper, 4 red chilies, add more if you want, saute this until dal changes color. The dal has started changing color. Now I am adding 2 tablespoons of grated coconut. You can add fresh or dry coconut. Saute this for 2 to 3 minutes and then turn off the heat. Let it cool completely. Now this has cooled completely. Blend this to a slightly coarse powder. Our brinjal rice masala is ready. Now everything is ready for the brinjal rice. I have taken one big onion, thinly sliced. Onion is optional. If you want, you can add, otherwise you can skip it. Two green chilies. This is the masala powder, curry leaves, 3 to 4 ripe tomatoes, 4 brinjals. You can use any variety of brinjal. We will start making the brinjal rice. Heat 3 tablespoons of oil. Add a teaspoon of mustard seeds, a teaspoon of urad dal, heing. Saute until dal turns golden brown. The dal has changed color. Add onions and green chilies, curry leaves. Saute until onions turn transparent. Now the onions have turned transparent. We will add the brinjals. Turmeric powder. Now the brinjals are cooked to some extent. I am adding a teaspoon of finely chopped ginger sauteed in oil. I forgot to add with the onions, so I am adding it now. You can add it along with the onions. Salt needed. I am adding all the masala powder we prepared. Brinjals are cooked a little. Now we will add the tomatoes. Let the tomatoes cook fully. The brinjals will also get cooked fully in the tomato juice. Cook covered. Keep stirring in between. While the brinjals are cooking, we will make the onion pachadi or raita. I have thinly sliced 5 to 6 onions. I am adding salt. Mix this well and keep it aside for 15 minutes. Now we will check the brinjal masala. Brinjals are cooked well. Our brinjal masala is ready. In case if the brinjals are not cooked, you can sprinkle little water and cook for a few more minutes. Now we will add the rice. You can use any rice variety for this. You can also add millets or quinoa to this. I am adding basmati rice. Mix well. Garnish it with coriander leaves. Brinjal rice is ready. If you want to make a quick meal, you can prepare this in a jiffy. This is also a great option for lunch box. Remember we kept the onion aside. Now it has oozed out water. You have to squeeze out the water from the onions and place it in a bowl. See how much water we have squeezed out from the onions. Now add thick curd. Mix this well. Now we will season the pachadi. Heat a teaspoon of oil. Add a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Mustard seeds have started spluttering. Turn off the heat and add green chilli and curry leaves. Saute this well in oil. Add the seasoning to the pachadi. Add finely chopped coriander leaves. Our onion raita is ready. See how thick it is. It is not watery. Enjoy super tasty brinjal rice with onion raita. Do like and share this post. Don't forget to subscribe to Padu's Kitchen. 
Also, click the bell icon to get notifications as and when I post videos. Thank you.